step. So I already washed my hair with the Pantene Moisture Renewal Shampoo and Conditioner because I needed to wash my hair this time around, not cut a wash. Uh, and my secret weapon to straight hair is this Andre Walker The Gold System Hair Care Get It Straight Cream, which is flipping amazing. So first what I do is I go ahead and I split my hair into two big sections and then I will go ahead and take some of the straightening cream and I'll put it all through one section of my hair first and it has a pretty strong scent so I don't know why I had to sniff it. I was about to sneeze but I think it went away so <laughs> yeah. So, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and just put it through two, the, both of the sections of my hair. And then I go ahead and I split those two sections into two more sections and then I put more. So it could get more throughout the middle parts of my hair that I probably missed. I forget the edges too. Okay, then I'm going to take my blow dryer because you're supposed to blow dry your hair and I put it on the low setting and mine also has a cool button and okay, that's me doing, okay. And we use a wide tooth comb that I broke, my bad. I do have another one but I just like using the blue one. But um, so you're supposed to blow dry your hair with that product first and then you're supposed to flat iron it. The first two times I actually use that product, I use it wrong. I put it in my hair and then I let my hair air dry and my hair just didn't come out as straight as I wanted it so make sure you read the bottles and follow the directions people you gotta you gotta you gotta follow directions you just have to so I kind of just do like what is it like the chasing method kind of with the comb obviously and is it just me or who else finds conditioner in their ear after they take a shower and wash their hair because apparently that's just me all the time and I don't realize until much much later so I'm just scooping out the conditioner in my ear so yeah the reason why I do the chasing method is to obviously you know make sure my hair doesn't get tangled within the drying process because you don't want that to happen as you can see my hair just keeps getting bigger and bigger and then I like to feel with my fingers. Oh, that happened. I like to feel with my fingers um, anywhere else in my head that's wet. I want to make sure it's completely dry. What are you doing, Sarah? All right. I don't know what's up with me. Okay, then I just comb through it again really fast. Just to make sure it's not tangled. And boom, this being a monster's hair. And yeah, it's just... These are my bangs, I guess. I'm not about to explain these bangs. I'm just, no. Okay, so now what I do is I split my hair in half down the middle first. Come on, hurry up. Split it. Go, go. All right, and then I take a big scrunchie and I just put um, one section into it. And I take the other section and I split that one into two sections and then I put those in its respective hair ties and I like these hair ties right here I got them from Dollar Tree they don't have like the metal thing on it because the metal thing could you know cause your hair to break and stuff and you don't want that bubble you don't want breakage you don't want it you ain't want it so then I go with to the other section and I do the same thing with the two um pigtail pony things what am I trying to say I really need to burp, but I don't want to do that. So yeah, there I go. Just splint it up. And then I think, oh, at this point, I only put the back section into the uh, ponytail because I'm actually about to start working on the uh, front section with putting in, um, you know, other stuff. So I comb it out to make sure that is detangled, which my hair wasn't really tangled at this point. So now I'm going to put in a heat serum and for the love of God, please use a heat protectant. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just take this heat serum. This is actually from Dugro. It's their olive oil heat uh, 
serum oil thingy. So I just take some of that and then I put it through this first section right here and then I split this section into two just like I did with the uh, straightening cream and I go ahead and put it all throughout the hair just in case I've missed any parts in the middle because you don't want to miss no parts in the middle because you don't want to burn off your hair girl you don't want to want to burn off your hair because that ain't gonna be cute oh god what's wrong with me and then I comb my hair yet again just making sure it doesn't get tangled making sure oh and just because the comb is broken is actually not breaking off my hair to be honest and then I could not find a hair tie or a metal clip so I just had to put my hair in my mouth just to hold it just for a second so I could get the hair tie from the back it's okay it's okay you may taste the heat serum but it's okay it's made of olive oils good for your bodies I'm kidding don't put heat serum in your mouth it's gross Okay, and then I found the metal clip, and then I'm literally just going to do the same exact thing that I did on this first front section right here, throughout the back, and on the other two sections. So, I'm probably just going to shut up for a little bit. Also, I did not shave under my armpits. Why? Because I didn't want to. So don't worry about it. Now we about to get into straightening. So I use the Conair Infinity Pro Straightener. And obviously my stupid self did not plug in the straightener before I got this started. So here I am just plugging it in and just waiting for it to heat up because I wasn't prepared. I'm just never prepared for anything for life or for, for anything. Uh, so there I am just you know sitting there watching the video and then I kind of thought I was in a Pantene commercial you know how like those Pantene commercials they like tie up the hair in the knot to show how strong it is I see no point in that but I don't know I thought that I could do it for some reason my hair is still kind of short so I can't really put it into a full knot but hey look I twisted it once and that's something right there boo all right now my flat iron is heat up in everything it's ready to go so I'm about to go ahead and I'm going to straighten my hair and y'all go see. Okay. So what I do is I take just a very small section in the back. And you want to work in small sections, even though it's like, oh, why work in small sections? It's going to take a long time. No, trust me, your hair is going to turn out a lot better. Yes, it may take a long time, but your hair is going to turn out a lot better if you do it in just small sections, please. Okay. So I just take a small section from the back and it already has heat serum on it and now i'm gonna go ahead and straighten my hair so i do a few taps on the uh to the root of the hair because that's where it's more curly and then i just go ahead and move and then sometimes i have to go twice but two times is like my max that i will go to to straighten my hair because i don't want it to go like three four five six seven eight nine times which that has happened before and it's not fun. It's kind of frustrating when you have to keep going over and 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 over again. But yeah. Oh, so here's another part. You know, just want to show y'all just in case you missed it or not. But yeah, so here's just another part. Once again, I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm going to take the straightener, do a few taps on the root. And you want to make sure that your hair is completely dry because there were times where I didn't have my hair like 100% dry and um i kind of like popped my scalp because it was still wet while i was straightening so yeah them birds are just so disrespectful i'm busy oh my good so um i go ahead and just comb it just so y'all can see it boom and then i just you know speed through it here real quick you know just go through some of the parts you know sometimes i gotta go over it twice splitting it getting it good get it, get it good 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 yeah. And on this part right here, I wanted to show that um, I got this chunk that was a little bit too big. So what I did is I just went ahead and just split that into another section and just kept it moving. Once again, just keep splitting your stuff into sections because you don't want to like accidentally um, do something wrong and in one part of your head like a hot mess. So just sections are your best friends. Small sections are your best friends. I'm going to tell you that right now 
I'm gonna put my laptop on the charger because it's dying. Okay, great. And boom, now I just go through the whole thing just as normal as I usually do because that's what you need to do. Just keep it pushing. I wonder, how long does it take to do my hair? It takes me, I think this time around it took me like around two hours. Two hours, maybe 40 minutes. I'm not sure because usually it takes like three hours. And sometimes it doesn't even turn out this good. That's why I really like this straightening cream. Um, I am going to post up a review video on Saturday about the straightening cream. So if you want to go ahead and check that out, just wait until Saturday or it's already past Saturday. Go look at that video. You'll see the car pop up. Just trust me. And look, see? Boom. Look how sleeky straight that looks. It looks so, so nice. So yeah, so that's the first section. I already finished it. So, you know, it is done. Now I'm gonna just go ahead off camera and I'm gonna do the second section. And I like to do the backs first. And then you can see how they both look. So that's the first section. There's a second section. How it's all nice and straight. And then I started feeling myself a little bit, you know, right here. Yes. 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 Slow motion. Yes. Yes. Yes, I was really feeling myself, but no, for real, this cream is, is great. All right, now I'm gonna do the other two sections. So I did already the two sections. I'm just finishing up the last section right here, um, just to basically show you guys the finished product. I don't know what happens to that piece of hair in the back. I don't know what happened. So yeah, so here I am, you know, just straightening the last few pieces, and I straightened like the top part of my head because that could be a hot mess. And I don't know what's up with that front piece. Jesus. All right, here I am, brushing my hair, just getting it done. Brush it, girl. And yeah, this this is the, this is really, yes. And of course, I hit myself in the face with my brush. How? So I go ahead and I use a hair oil. I forgot what brand it is, but it's for like dry hair. Um, I just use a hair oil just, you know, make it more sleek and shiny, make it more pretty and stuff. And yeah, this is the finished look. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a like. Also, comment down below if you ever tried this cream or if you want to. Also, please subscribe because I'm trying to get this channel to 500 subscribers by the end of the year. I'm talking really fast because this video is about to end really quick. Oh my god, I can't breathe. Oh yeah, uh, check out any links. And oh, there's an Amazon Prime link down there. You could try it free for 30 days if you want to get this product. Okay, I'm going to go because I'm about to... <laughs>